Hello everyone, my name is Heather and I'm just going to share with you a little thrift store antique store haul that I did yesterday and I just want to show you all the things that I got and how excited I am for these things and I just want to share them. My Etsy shop will be linked below. There is nothing in it yet. I will be listing all of this stuff soon so go on there and save my shop so you can look at it in the future when all of this stuff will be listed. Uh, my Etsy shop has been closed now for like three years, two years, something like that. Um, work and kids and life just kind of got in the way of it all. But I'm ready to start back up and I did my first shopping yesterday. Um, so I went to three different types of stores yesterday and I'm going to show you all the things that I got. But I'm going to break them up into separate videos. Um, so the first one is going to be all of the stuff that I got at Goodwill. I went to two separate Goodwills and I'm just going to go through and show you everything that I got and all of this stuff except for one I think is going to be listed in my Etsy shop. Um, so the first thing that I found was this really cute pottery bowl. It's done in different shades of blue. It has a really nice glaze on it and it is signed. Um, the name on the bottom is Jones and I got this for $1.99 and inside it has this cute little crab attached in there and it's really cute. Um, I did some searching and I only found one eBay listing that had this but it was really a really old listing so I'm not able to see what they had it listed for or what it sold for because it's gone. So there's that. So we found that. The next thing I found was this Noritake, make sure I got it the right way, Noritake uh, gravy boat and the name here for this design is called Lazari, I think it is. And it's really pretty, hand painted. There's no chips or cracks in it. Um, all of the paint still looks very nice. I do need to clean it. I have not cleaned anything yet. All the stickers are still on. So I paid $5.99 for this. And the resale value is around $10 to $20 depending. So those were the first two. I also found, I got really excited about this, I got really excited, um, but then I realized that it's not vintage, so I'm going to have to hold on to it for probably two years before I can list this, because it was made in 2002. So this is a Royal Dalton um, tea set, very pretty, made in 2002, and the design is called Ashley. Uh, my daughter was really excited about this one, so... I might let her have it since it's not actually vintage. So that's quite cute. The next things that I got was a, another Noritake gravy boat sauce container. Um, this one is actually Noritake stoneware. And it is called Desert Flowers. And it's quite heavy nice quality pretty flowers all the flowers are on there very well no scratches no chips no cracks no nothing a little extra gravy on the front <laughs> but we're gonna wash everything before we list it get all the stickers and sticky stuff and all of that off so this is very pretty uh, paid three dollars and 99 cents for that one and again they range between 10 to 20 dollars depending this is a recipe box um, the brand for this is called International China. I've actually sold a lot of this. Um, International China has two very popular uh, prints. This one is called Heartland and the other is called Marmalade. Marmalade has the two geese with the peach and the blue ribbon and some polka dots and things. Um, I do very well selling both of these designs. This one is called Heartland and it is like a folk art uh, farm scene. And I have a lot of pieces from this in my garage um, that I will be listing along with this recipe box. It is in very good shape. No scratches, no wear. Does have a bracket on the side so they are on the back so that you can hang it on the wall. The lid is very good. Very nice. Very nice inside. I wish I had some old recipes in there. That would be even better. The tile on the front is in good condition. It's not coming out. It's not loose, not scratched. Good find. This was $3.99 and they range for about $20. The 
The next thing I got is this oil and vinegar set. And it has the O and the V on there. I realized later after I kind of researched it a little bit that they are supposed to have glass toppers. Um, I don't have them. I was thinking that it was probably a wooden cork or a, a wooden cork, <laughs> a cork topper, um, but they're not. So I do not have the toppers for these, but they are still very nice. The brand for this is called Nasco, and the print is called Mountain Woodland. And it has a picture of some little houses in the trees. Comes with a nice little caddy. No chips, no cracks, no hairlines, no nothing. It's very pretty. It does have packaging tape on it, so I'm hoping when I take that off that it's not going to damage the, the print at all. So I saw these listed, some on Etsy for about $65 and they don't have the thing. I don't think that's fair. <laughs> not having all of the pieces and the toppers, I would say that I would probably list this for about $20 to $25, not $50 or $60 without having the top. But most of the ones I saw, I think I saw two and one was $60 and one was $65 and that just seems like a little too much for not having all of the pieces. So I'm going to say somewhere around $20 to $25 would be fair to not have the top. Okay, let's move that. And then, this one. <laughs> this one I got a little too excited and um, ended up with a knockoff. But that's okay, it's okay, it's still cute. So this is a fake Wedgwood vase. And it is glass on the bottom and it is painted to look like Wedgwood and you can tell by the details that it's not it's just not the quality it is slightly raised but it's more like a like a stencil transfer like a little bit raised but not not enough there's some sticky stuff here they did do good with it though like it is painted on the inside to make it look a little more nice I guess well, like I said, it is glass on the bottom. And looking inside, there is no mark in here. Um, I'm sure that it is still vintage. Uh, I would say, I would probably list this for like $10. $10. Um, I did see some on, online for 20 and I just think that's no <laughs> for being a knockoff. Um, I did pay $3.99 for it, but again, I'm gonna sell it for probably 10 as a Wedgwood inspired um, vase. I also found these really pretty china dishes. I'm not sure that these are vintage either. Um, maybe 10 years old, if that. I didn't really find a whole lot of information about them, uh, but they are made in Germany and I don't even wanna to attempt to say that. Hutchinson Ruther. <laughs> Something like that, uh, made in Germany. And it has this really pretty blue and gray rose print. And it reminds me of the kind of dishes that they would give you at Disney when you eat in the princess castles and you do that really expensive dinner. Like this is the kind of dishes that they would, would serve you on. They're really, really, really pretty. It's this nice faint blue and gray and then they're outlined in silver and i do have two of these they are the salad plates if i could find this whole set this would be my dishes because they are so pretty so pretty um so yesterday at goodwill the green tickets were 50 percent off so i did get two of these for two dollars so that was a good deal even if even if and then I found this really pretty cake plate and the print is called Buckingham. It's a nice floral design with gold edging. It is in beautiful, beautiful condition. No scratches, no utensil marks, no cracks, no nothing. The bottom is pretty. There's no darken around the ring, usually where it's sliding across the table. 
I would think that somebody really <laughs> probably displayed this plate um, proudly because it is very nice. Um, and the brand is called Andrea by Sadik, made in Japan. After doing some research on this, I did find out it comes with a cake server, pie server little thing. I looked high and low in the store. They did not have it. So alas, I only have the cake plate. Um, so for the set, they were selling between $25 and $35 for the set. So I think with me just having the plate, I will probably list this for about $20. I think $20 is a fair price for not having the other piece with it. And I paid $2.99 for this plate. And the last thing that I got at Goodwill, I am so excited about, and I was so happy that this is the whole reason I decided to make this video. Most people probably won't be as excited as me, but for someone who goes thrift store shopping a lot and comes across this kind of stuff a lot, to find one in good condition and whole just made my heart sing. I found this beautiful turtle dove figurine. So most times when I find anything with these kind of flowers on it, they are broken. One petal is missing, the leaves are broken, they're chipped, they're cracked, something. But this one, someone really, really, really took care of because it is, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's so pretty. So it has two doves um, with some leaves, obviously, and some pink uh, roses and buds. They, I'm going to call them turtle doves because they look like they're in love. They're love doves. They are so pretty. Here's the back. And then the bottom. Uh, Capodamonte. I think that's how you say it. Let's see if we can get it to focus. There we go. Made in Italy. Um, so this one I paid $3.99 for. And um, looking online, they are ranging from, um, well, some of them are a little bit different, but they are ranging about $50 to $175. So I'm not really sure how much I'm going to list this for. I need to do some more research on like this exact one and see how much um, they are selling them for. I'm going to take my thumbnail picture with this real quick. Okay, so, <laughs> um, yeah, this one, this one I'm very, very happy with. Even if I only sell it for $25, um, it's still a good profit. And I'm just so happy to find one that's, that's whole, that's not broken or damaged. It's, it's very pretty. All right, so this is a short video, 13 minutes. Um, I think my totals at Goodwill, I think I spent like 20 something dollars at each one. Um, so probably like $40 total at Goodwill. Um, I think that's a pretty good, pretty good for what we have and how much we're going to resell things for. We should at least double our money, double the money <laughs> of what we spent. So that's great. Um, so I'm going to post, um, another video of me being, or me, what I got at St. Matthew's house. And then I'm also going to post one from this little antique shop that I went to. So watch out for those and I'll see you next time. Bye.